Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. Today I am on my way to the Titan Missile Museum. They have a disc cone antenna set up at this museum that does some pretty amazing stuff. And I'm gonna get us on the air and see what all kinds of amazing stuff we can do with it. I'm hoping it's got a really big signal. Looks like I gotta go inside and get the key. This is run by the Green Valley Amateur Radio Club. I'm gonna try and ring them up on the repeater while I'm here. But this, right here, this is the reason why I'm here. It's a big old discone antenna. I hope your dreams come true. Don't get mad, please just pass. And that is a mantra for life right there. It is unlawful to enter this area without permission of the installation commander. Okay. So that was really easy. You just walk inside and you ask to use the antenna, you sign the book and they give you the key. Let's go get after it. This antenna is still functional and is often used by visiting amateur radio operators. That's me. So there's Great White. And when you get here, they've got a picnic table set up for you and they've got some PL259 hiding inside this box. Let's see what we're working with here. There we go. Oh, they got plenty of coax in here. They've even got some adapters for you. Got a SO239 to BNC for you QRP folk. Barrel connector in case you wanted to plug into your own coax. And an inline lightning arrestor. And I also know you're gonna give me grief for bringing a QRP radio to a QRO party. So I brought the Zygu XPA125B amp. So I know you guys are gonna to wanna to know what the SWR looks like on this antenna. This is 160 meters. Greater than three to one. We'll go to 80 meters. Greater than three to one. 40 meters. Oh, it's good on 40. No tuner needed. 30 meters. There we go. It's good on 30 meters. 20 meters. It's good on 20 meters. This is looking good. It even gets better as you get farther up in the band. 17 meters. Good on 17 meters. 21 megs. Good on 21. 24. Good on 24. 28. With how good this thing is, I bet it's good on 11 too. Six meters. That's actually still usable on six. It's just a slight bit above the 1.5 line right there. Two meters, why not? Oh, it's good on two meters. Look at that, 70 centimeters. Oh, it's good on 70 centimeters too. <laughs> I like it. That's a big antenna for 70 centimeters, don't you think? There's a little bird sitting up there on the horizontal radiator. I wonder if I can tickle his feet. I looked at 160 and 80 meters and there are no signals on those two bands right now. I'm guessing 40 meters is closed. I made one contact and it's a guy like one grid square over and I'm not really hearing a whole lot. So I'll get a map for you on 40 meters. I'm running 75 watts. So this here is a coverage map on 30 meters. I'm getting most of the United States. Not a lot of signals on 30 meters either. So we'll keep trying other bands. 20 meters, all I can do with the 705 is 10 watts. Here's the 10 watt picture. Anytime I went above 10 watts, I was running into RFI issues and the 705 and the amplifier were locking up and needed a restart. One of the things I'm really disappointed in the 705 about is that that happens often. I'm gonna switch over to a different radio after I finish running through all the bands on the 705 because I'm already in the 705 right now. Might as well do them all. All right, now we're cooking. We're on 17 meters and I'm getting 100 watts out with the amp. I don't know what it is about 20 meters. It does that sometimes. So we'll stick with 17 meters. This is what the propagation map looks like on PSK Reporter. Fantastic website on 17 meters with the disc cone at the Titan Missile Museum. Of course, the first contact on 17 meters is M0BEW from across the pond. So Working good. Arizona to, yeah, just to UK. It doesn't say M letter zero, it just says M zero. So could be a club call. I don't know. So the station I'm running today right now is the 705 with the XPA 125B. I've got my MacBook running WSJTX so I can get you all some pretty maps. We've got a 100 watt foldable solar panel. I love this thing because it shrinks up so tiny. I mean, you can kind of tell by the size of the individual panels how small that'll flip up. And then I have the 100 amp hour battery box that I built and the Power Queen charge controller powering it all up. Solar into charge controller, into battery box, into radio and amplifier via computer, into the big boy antenna. And that waterfall is strong. I'm getting some really loud signals in here. 
This one here is Italy. Italy Kilo 2 Lima Tango Romeo, minus 21 sent, minus 20 received. I added a choke to the coax going from the amplifier to the radio and I was able to get a couple of volleys out on 20 meters at 100 watts. Here's what the map looks like on that. Still a little finicky though. Every so often it just gets that way. We'll keep playing. This is 15 meters at 100 watts. I was fighting the RFI back into the 705. I had to shut everything down, start everything up again. Got the choke on the coax, got the choke on the USB. It's just the way it is sometimes with this radio. But the map looks pretty good. I'm getting lots and lots of distance out of this thing. 12 meter band, 10 watts. If you look at this map, anything that is zero or one minutes old is at 10 watts. And anything that is four minutes and older is at I don't think it was like 80 watts or something, 90 watts. This is KM9G on the 145 290 repeater on the disc cone over at the museum. Anybody out there? There's a little chatter, 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 chatter going on. I don't know. This is KM9G on the disc cone at the Titan Missile Museum. KM9G testing out the antenna on the repeater. Can anybody hear me? This is KM9G testing out the repeater from the Titan Missile Museum using the disc cone on two meters. So that was something in my amplifier circuit because I still left the amp on by accident. This is KM9G, anybody out there? Kilo, Mike 9 Golf, looking for a signal report from the repeater. I tried. Had to switch it over to the 6100 and the XPA 125B amp and not getting any RFI issues now. So this here is 20 meters on the X6100 with the amplifier and it is working great. So far, no RFI issues, but this is the experience I've had before with this setup, regardless of antenna. 12 meters was another one of those problem bands with the ICOM. I switched over to the Zygu. I called CQ. First CQ call, somebody answers me. This is crazy. And so far, no problems with RFI, and that entire contact was done. And then this is 10 meters, another band I was having trouble with on the 705, and it is nice and clear and getting good signals all over the place. CQ10, CQ10, this is Kilo Mike 9 Golf calling CQ on 10 meters from the Titan Missile Museum. CQ10, CQ10, Kilo Mike 9 Golf, QRZ. CQ10, CQ10, this is Kilo Mike 9 Golf calling CQ on 10 meters from the Titan Missile Museum. CQ10, CQ10, Kilo Mike 9 Golf, QRZ. So they even have a nice ground set up for you here. Pretty good, pretty good. A big thank you to the Green Valley Amateur Radio Club for keeping this antenna in a good state of repair and making it available for people to use and also for the Titan Missile Museum for allowing us to use their facility. There is a ton of information available on the website for the Green Valley Amateur Radio Club about the antenna at the Titan Missile Museum. I wanted to do something different in this video that isn't shown on that website. Somebody had a much better analyzer that they ran the antenna and did a bunch of sweeps on, but I wanted to show what it looked like today a little bit with the 705 built-in, uh, you know, SWR meter. And then I wanted to get some coverage maps on FT8 for you guys. And then I know you wanted to know what it sounded like on voice. So we did a little bit of that as well. If you are out in the area, it is definitely worth a stop. And if you would like to see what the inside of the museum looks like. I've got a video for that over on my RV channel. There are links in the description down below for some of the stuff that I used in the video in case you are curious. Otherwise, there's a video right over here I think you might find interesting. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.